Hi everyone, Mr D here. Welcome to my daily workout for grown-ups. Um, hopefully the kids have gone to bed now and I've got a workout just for you. It's nice and simple. What you need to, make sure you've got some trainers on, make sure you've got a drink handy, make sure you've got some space to work in and you will need a little table or something because we're going to be doing some triceps at some point. So, you ready to go? Good, let's do it. Okay, the first exercise is going to just ease you in nice and gently, a bend and a stretch. So feet shoulder width apart, it's going to ease all the way up, stretch nice and high and then trying to sort of slight bend your knees, ease down, just try and touch the floor and just hold, slowly come all the way back up, 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 reach up, stretch up as high as you can and back down. Try and go a little bit lower this time if you can, just hold, 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 you should feel that in the backs of your thighs and your hamstrings, slowly back up, we'll do two more and slowly down. and slowly back up for the last time reach up high and nicely all the way down to the floor and just hold that position for count of three two one and shake that out now we're going to do a little bit of jogging on the spot just nice and loose okay because we're just warming ourselves up nice and loose are we ready three two one off we go just make sure you stay on your toes, hands, arms can just hang down by your side. So we're not working them right now. We're just starting to increase our heart rate just a little bit. So make sure you're on your toes, nice and loosely. Good. That's good. Well done. Feeling relaxed. Good. Here comes Ruby. Hello, Ruby. Ruby often appears in our videos. Special guest appearance. Three, two, one, and stop there. Now we're going to keep the running theme going. We're going to do high knees and hold. So we're going to run. Make sure when you try and bring your knees up in line with your hips. Five, and then we hold. So it's going to be a bit like this. One, two, three, four, five, hold. One, two, three, four, five, hold. Try and make sure that obviously your arms are working as well. Keep your back straight, head up, and we've worked. Keep up on our toes. Are we ready? Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Doing really well. One more. And stop there. Well done. You're going well. Now we're going to go into some press ups. So there's several ways you can do these. Again, arms slightly wider than the shoulder width. Stretch out and we go all the way down. Just get our nose just above the floor. Keep our body straight. Or go onto our knees. Lift off, cross our feet over, lift our toes off the floor and go down and back up. The choice is yours. Okay, all we're going to do, we're going to do 10 press ups. Okay? Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Once we're down on the floor, we're now going to move into sit ups. And again, with sit ups, it's important we support our back throughout. Bend your knees, feet flat on the floor. Key part when you're doing this, suck your core, suck your tummy in, keep your core strong. Make sure you're just engaging your shoulder blades off the floor. So I'm gonna give you three choices. You either come up, all the way up, slowly back down. I'm gonna come up, land in a twist, either side, or just come up and pulse your choice. I'm going to do all three and I'm going to do four of each. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. One, two, three. Remember you can do as many of which type as you like. One and then either side. Two, Three, 
the whole point of the twist is you're actually working your obliques as well. And now I'm gonna pulse one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You're doing really well. Well done. Last one. Good. Well done. That's a really good little workout for your tummy. Hope you felt that. Right now, as I said earlier, you're going to need a table or something, even your sofa or a chair. Not a table, but a low level table that will support your weight. I can try and do this on the wall here. So we're doing our triceps, which I know a lot of us get a bit conscious about our backs of our arms. So what we're going to do, you can either come with your legs straight and come down into that position, or we do it with our feet bent. And we go down now. Obviously this is quite high, so I can't get low. I can demonstrate it better on here. Hello, Ruby. You can say hello to everyone. Hello. Right, so from here, we can go down, up, down, up. But make sure when you go down, that your bottom doesn't touch the floor, because otherwise that takes the weight and doesn't take the strain on your shoulders, on your, on your triceps. We're gonna do 10. Are you ready? And go. One. Fully extend the arm. Two. That's good. Three. Four. Five. Six. You're working really well. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good. And obviously over the coming weeks, we're going to build more and more of these in. And if you feel stronger, go for a little bit longer. Let's just check what we've done. One, two, three, four. We've already done five. Excellent. Oh, we've done six things so far. Okay, we're now going to do jump rope skips. So you can imagine me skipping rope. So we're just going to be going around. When you're really clever, we can do one foot and then the other foot. Okay, are you ready to do that with me? Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go. So just bouncing on our toes with imaginary skipping rope. Go onto one foot, other foot, both feet. Good. Well done. This is when you hope everyone hadn't have had, had a drink already. So I'm sure you might be going, whoa, whoa. We don't want that. Good, you're going really well. Three, two, one, and stop there before I make a big hole in my garden. Okay, we're now gonna move on to the plank. Now, remember where the plank, plank is all about your core. Make sure you're balancing on your forearm and elbow, up onto your toes. And when you go up, you can hold this for 30 seconds. Then you're gonna suck your tummy in and make sure you keep yourself nice and straight. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Really suck your tummy in. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth and really hold the tummy muscles in. Make sure you're in a nice, straight position. Make sure that bottom isn't sticking up in the air. That's good. 10 more seconds, you're going really well. Hold that position. Five, four, three, two, one. And well done, up you get. Good, right, let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'm going to go to lunges now. Now remember, when we lunge, hands on your hips, when we come forwards, engage one foot and then the other, bring your knee down just behind your heel, keep your, your, leg, your leg and your shoulders and your body in line. So it looks like this from the side. Just hold it for a second when you're doing it. Are you ready to do it with me? We're going to do five on each side. Ready? Go. Nice and controlled. One. That's good. Good step. Keep the back nice and straight. Two. You should really feel that in your cultural set here. Well done. You're going so well. We're going to do two more. Well done. I always like to put my hands on my hips. It just helps keep me focused when I'm trying to balance. 
well done. Good. Right, we've got three more left to do now. We've got a new one called squat cross steps. So basically we're gonna get into a nice squat position and as we spring up, we're gonna cross our legs, bounce that, and then we're gonna go the other way with our feet and come down nice and low. Okay, if you're not sure what to do, just follow me and we'll do it together. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Jump, down. Really spring up through your toes, get some nice height in the jump. And when you go down to the squat, keep your back straight, get down as low as you can. Good. Going really well. You'd have earned that drink tonight if you haven't already started. Five more. One, two, three, four, five. Good, shake that out. One of the hardest ones we're gonna finish with almost, penultimate one, mountain climbers. It's a bit like the old squat thrust. So we're gonna go down into this position and we're gonna run, drive our knees up beyond our elbows for about 20 seconds. We've got one more after this, are you ready? Get in the position, hands, hands and knees, or hands and feet, ready, steady, go. Just like running, drive those knees up, extend the leg, good. You're working well. I've got my feet slipping on the grass. And I keep going. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. And oh, well done, that's hard. To finish with mums and dads, teachers, side plank, come up into the sun. So we're gonna do 15 seconds either side. Again, rest on your arm, forearm. Put one foot on top of the other. Then raise up, arch, suck our tummy in, hold the position. Why don't we put your arm up to help you balance, show the control you've got. When I say change, you need to just roll over to the other side, or spin around and get into the position this way. Whichever you find most comfortable. Are you ready? Okay. Three, two, one, and lift. Thank you for working out with me today. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I really hope you're all staying safe and that your children aren't driving up the wall too much. I can't wait to see you all again. And swap sides. Remember, I'm gonna be doing a whole load of workout videos for you. Some will target different parts of your body. Some will be all like out cardio. Some would just be fun for you and the kids. So please look out for them while we just wind this one up. Three, two, one, and stop there. Fantastic. Well, mums and dads, I'm gonna to stick to the water. You stick to whatever you want. Thank you for working out with me today. Take care, stay safe, and say, see you soon.